In this video, I'll be going over the historical earnings and earnings estimates function. This function returns historical earnings and earnings estimates for a given ticker symbol. First, we'll start by typing an equal sign, and then the name of our function, which is hist estimates. Then we'll type in open parentheses, and as always with Trade Defender, our first parameter is our application key. You can see that mine is in cell C2. Our next parameter is the ticker symbol. Here I'll type in X for US Steel. The parameter after that is start date. All dates in Trade Defender are formatted with four digit years, two digit months, and two digit days in that order. So we'll start with 2010, 04, 11 for April 11th, 2010. After that, we have end date. Here, we'll do it exactly five years later. So 2015, 04, 11. The parameter after that is order by. This allows you to order the return data in either an ascending or descending format based on date. By default, it is set to ascending or ASC, or you can set it yourself to DESC for descending. We'll leave it in ascending. After that, we have columns. This allows you to specify which columns you'd like returned and in which order. Here, we'll specify a few, starting by typing a double quote, and then date announced, EPS act for EPS actual, and EPS mean est for EPS mean estimate, and then close that with a double quote. The parameter after that is values only. Values only allows you to specify whether you would or would not like column headers returned with your data. By default, this is set to zero, meaning that column headers will be returned, but you can remove them by typing a one. We'll leave this at zero for now. Our final parameter is transform. Transform allows you to specify whether you'd like your data to be returned vertically or horizontally. By default, this is set to zero for vertically, but you can set it to one if you'd like your data to be returned horizontally. We'll leave this at zero for now. Then you type a close parentheses and hit enter. And there we have the data between the two dates we specified, in the columns we specified, in the order that we put in the function itself. Now, if we were to remove the string that we put in the columns parameter, and left the space between those two columns blank, all of the columns will be returned. We can also transform this data by changing the transform parameter to a one, and change the order by switching ASC to DESC. If you have questions about this function or others in Trade Defender, please check out tradedefender.com docs, or email us at support at tradedefender.com. Thank you.